Sharks today may look fierce, but imagine one so big it could swallow a great white hole. Crocodiles may seem scary, but picture one stretched longer than a bus, waiting for dinosaurs by the riverbank. The truth is, the past was filled with creatures stranger and more powerful than anything alive now. From flying reptiles the size of airplanes, to armored fish with jaws like scissors, these nine ancient beasts show us a world far wilder than we could ever imagine. 1. Pliosaurus Long before humans walked the earth, there were creatures so strange that if you saw them today, you might think you had slipped into a Subnautica game. One of the most fearsome of them all was the Pliosaur, a reptile of the seas that swam around 150 million years ago. With a body shaped like a torpedo and jaws longer than you are tall, this was not an animal you would want to meet in the water. But how do we know such monsters ever lived at all? That mystery became clearer on the Jurassic coast of Dorset in England, when fossil hunters spotted something poking out of the cliff. At first it looked like just a rock, but as they brushed away the dirt, they uncovered the tip of a giant snout. Soon a skull over two meters long was pulled free, complete with 130 terrifying teeth. We almost didn't believe this fossil was real, because no other pliosaur skull has ever been found in such perfect shape. Yet the story only gets stranger from here. When scientists studied the fossil, they found that the bite of this animal was unbelievable. Tests showed it could crush with 33,000 newtons of force, which is more than twice the bite of today's saltwater crocodile. Imagine trying to bite through a car door, because that is about how powerful this jaw was. And just like crocodiles, pliosaurs may have grabbed prey and spun them in a deadly twist to rip them apart. Pliosaurs ate fish, sharks, ichthyosaurs, long-necked plesiosaurs, and sometimes even other pliosaurs. With four giant flippers that worked like underwater wings, they could rocket through the sea with speed and power. Their snouts even had tiny pits that may have helped them sense ripples in the water, and some had a third eye on top of their heads to track light. With so many advantages, the real question is, how could such a perfect predator ever disappear? Some scientists believe the answer lies in their competition with the mosasaurs, which were faster, more agile, better adapted to rule the seas, and when pliosaurs vanished, the seas gave rise to Dunkleosteus, a blade-jawed, armored nightmare that made even giants look small. Zweiter Dunkleosteus Have you ever imagined a fish so powerful it could bite straight through metal armor? Well, millions of years ago, one such monster ruled the seas. This was not your ordinary fish with shiny scales. It was a living tank wrapped in heavy bone plates, cruising the oceans of the Devonian period nearly 360 million years ago. Just picture a swimming fortress with jaws sharp enough to slice almost anything in its path. But the real story of Dunkleosteus begins not in the ocean, but on land when in 1867, along the cliffs of Lake Erie in Ohio, an amateur fossil hunter stumbled upon strange, bony plates. At first glance, nobody believed they belonged to a fish. How could a creature wear armor like a knight? Later, paleontologist David Dunkel studied the fossils and proved this was something entirely new. That's how the terrifying bonefish got its unforgettable name. Now if we peek into its mouth, things get even stranger. Unlike sharks with rows of teeth, Dunkleosteus had sharp, bony blades that worked like giant scissors. These blades were self-sharpening every time the jaws snapped shut. Scientists estimate its bite force reached over 8,000 pounds per square inch. That's stronger than a T-Rex, and strong enough to crack open the shells of armored ammonites. But with all that crunching, Dunkleosteus couldn't digest hard bones, so it often spat them back out. Isn't that both gross and amazing? And here's the twist that keeps scientists debating how big was this sea giant? Some fossils suggest 15 feet, others whisper almost 30 feet, as long as a school bus. Whether giant or just massive, Dunkleosteus was king of its seas. But even kings fall, so what could have ended its reign forever? Perhaps the oceans grew too harsh, or rivals evolved to take its place. And while the sea lost its armored ruler, the rivers of the future would hide a new terror with jaws just as fearsome. The colossal crocodile known as Sarcosuchus. 3. Sarcosuchus 
Deep in the ancient rivers of Africa, a giant reptile once reigned with unmatched power. This was Sarcosaucus, better known as the Super Croc. A distant cousin of today's crocodiles, but many times larger. Picture a crocodile stretched to the size of a school bus and weighing as much as an elephant. That is the terrifying scale of the beast that prowled the waters 112 million years ago, waiting silently for its next unlucky meal. But the story of this monster really began in the Sahara Desert, where the burning sands now cover what used to be great rivers. In the 1940s and 1950s, French scientists found strange skull pieces, teeth, and armor plates sticking out of the ground. At first, the fossils were puzzling, far too big for any known crocodile. It wasn't until 1964 in Niger that a nearly complete skull finally revealed the truth, and later expeditions in the 1990s uncovered even more bones. Scientists thought it looked more like something out of science fiction than a real animal, yet the bones lay right before them. Once you step closer, its features are both terrifying and fascinating. Its snout made up nearly three quarters of its head, lined with more than 60 sharp teeth on each side. At the very tip was a giant bump called a bulla, a mystery knob that scientists still argue about. Some think it helped crush prey, others say it made strange sounds, but one thing is clear. It made Sarcosuchus look even stranger than fiction, and when it hunted, nothing was safe. Dinosaurs drinking at the river's edge, giant fish swimming too close, even other reptiles could all become dinner. With armor-like skin and a tail built for ambush, it ruled the rivers without challenge. Yet while rivers belonged to Supercroc, the oceans themselves waited for another ruler. A shark so massive it would make even Sarcosuchus seem small. 4. Megalodon Long ago, in oceans warmer and wilder than today, a shark ruled the seas so huge that even whales looked small beside it. This was the Megalodon, whose very name means giant tooth, and its teeth were so big that early people once thought they were the tongues of dragons turned to stone. As scientists uncovered these massive teeth on beaches in North Carolina, Morocco, and even the shores of England, the mystery grew deeper. No full skeleton was ever found, only scattered bones and teeth the size of TV remotes. From these clues, experts worked like puzzle makers to rebuild a predator that stretched as long as a city bus and weighed more than 15 elephants together. To imagine its bite, think of a car being crushed like a soda can. That is the kind of power megalodon jaws delivered, lined with 276 teeth sharp enough to slice whale bones like butter. Some fossil ribs even hold broken megalodon teeth, locked in place since the very moment of an ancient attack. <laughs> but this monster did not look exactly like a giant great white shark, as movies often show. Scientists believe it had a shorter nose, longer fins, and a slimmer body built for cruising the seas. Baby megalodons may have been bigger than a grown human, which makes you wonder what the nurseries of these sharks looked like millions of years ago. Yet even giants fall when the world changes. Cooling seas and disappearing prey left megalodon without enough to eat, and its reign ended forever. Still, the ocean stage was never empty for long, because soon another colossal hunter with teeth like swords would rise from the depths. Five, Lyopleuridon. In the warm seas of Jurassic Europe, a reptile with jaws like living guillotines prowled the waters. This was Lyopleuridon, a pliosaur whose skull alone could grow longer than a grown man, and whose body stretched as long as a city bus. Unlike dinosaurs, it never set foot on land, but instead ruled the waves with speed and ferocity. As paleontologists began unearthing strange teeth in France in 1873, they realized these were not from ordinary reptiles. The teeth were smooth-sided, about the size of candy bars, and so unusual that Henri-Emile Sauvage gave them the name Leopleurodon, meaning smooth-sided tooth. For years, scientists puzzled over how such tiny clues could belong to such a massive hunter. When they pieced the fossils together, a terrifying picture appeared. Leopleurodon had a head that made up nearly one-fifth of its body, short neck, and four paddle-like flippers that worked like underwater wings. This design gave it bursts of speed, perfect for ambushing prey. Some fossils suggest lengths of 21 feet on average, but scattered bones hint at monsters twice that size, enough to spark fierce debates even today. With its powerful jaws and excellent sense of smell, Lyopleuridon hunted squid, fish, and even other marine reptiles like Chimarosaurus. Fossil bones with bite marks show that nothing in those shallow Jurassic seas was truly safe. 
and since it had no gills, this reptile had to rise for air like a giant crocodile every so often, adding to its mystery. As the Cretaceous Age dawned, new rivals stole its throne, and Leopluridon faded into history. Yet deep on land, another killer with saber-like teeth and fire in its eyes was waiting. The ancient terror known as Gorgonopsid. Sixth, Gorgonopsid. The world once shook under creatures unlike anything alive today, and among them were hunters that seemed stitched together from different nightmares. These were the Gorgonopsids, rulers of the late Permian, prowling the land nearly 260 million years ago. With bodies shaped like reptiles, yet faces armed with saber-like teeth, they were the prototypes of predators long before dinosaurs took center stage. As we move closer into their story, the first fossils of Gorgonopsids were uncovered in the Karoo Basin of South Africa, a place that acts like Earth's own time machine. Layer after layer of rocks preserved their bones, and when paleontologists dug them up, they almost didn't believe this fossil was real. The sharp teeth, the oddly shaped skull, and the saber-like canines looked more like something from a fantasy book than a scientific discovery. Now let's look at what made these animals so terrifying. Gorgonopsids had enormous canine teeth, some almost as long as your hand, which they used to pierce through the thick hides of their prey. They didn't chew like mammals today. Instead, they ripped off huge chunks of meat and swallowed them whole, almost like crocodiles. Their skulls also showed signs of early mammal traits, special openings for jaw muscles and even hints of structures that one day would become our own ear bones. And what did these saber-toothed hunters chase? Herds of tusked decinodonts, armored pereosaurs, and smaller reptilian prey unlucky enough to cross their path. Imagine the clash, an armored cow-sized reptile colliding with a wolf-sized predator bearing knives for teeth. For millions of years, Gorgonopsids ruled unchallenged until the greatest extinction the planet ever faced wiped them away. Yet their legacy lingers because when the dust cleared, new giants rose, and in time, the earth would tremble again beneath the footsteps of Tyrannosaurus rex. Seven, Tyrannosaurus rex, a colossal predator once stalked the earth with unmatched power and its name was Tyrannosaurus rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. Imagine a school bus with teeth longer than bananas and jaws strong enough to crush a car in half. That was not a scene from a monster movie. It was daily life in the forests of North America about 68 million years ago. The trail of Tyrannosaurus rex begins not with a roar, but with stone. In 1902, deep in the rocky hills of Montana, fossil hunter Barnum Brown uncovered bones so massive that scientists almost refused to believe they belonged to a real creature. By 1905, the name Tyrannosaurus rex was born, and since then, more skeletons have been found, including the legendary Sioux, a 42-foot monster now displayed in Chicago. Researchers almost didn't believe this fossil was real, yet there it stood. Now imagine standing face to face with T-Rex. Its skull alone stretched five feet long. And inside that skull waited 60 serrated teeth, each as sharp as steak knives. With a bite three times stronger than a lion's, this dinosaur could swallow 100 pounds of meat in one gulp. Scientists even discovered cooling vents in its head like natural air conditioning so it didn't overheat while crushing bones. Still, the king was not perfect. Its tiny arms sparked endless debate. Whatever the truth, those arms remind us that even the fiercest rulers can have a funny flaw. And yet, when the asteroid came crashing down 66 million years ago, not even this mighty predator could escape extinction. When the king fell, the skies crowned their own giant. 8. Quetzalcoatlus a shadow once stretched across the Cretaceous skies so wide it could cover an entire house, and that shadow belonged to Quetzalcoatlus, the giant pterosaur named after the feathered serpent god of the Aztecs. Imagine a giraffe with wings as long as a city bus, gliding above dinosaurs that barely noticed its silent approach. Scientists never believed such a fossil could be real, yet here it was. The largest flying animal ever discovered. Let's rewind a bit to 1971 when Douglas Lawson, a young geology student, stumbled on strange bones in Big Bend National Park, Texas. At first, they looked too fragile to belong to a creature so massive, thin like potato chips pressed into rock. 
But once experts piece them together, they realize these belong to a pterosaur with a wingspan reaching up to 36 feet, maybe even more. If true, this beast was big enough to spook even a T-Rex below. Now its body was a strange design. Quetzalcoatlus had no teeth, just a razor-sharp beak and a stiff neck that looked awkward but worked perfectly for hunting. Some scientists claimed it skimmed fish like a giant heron, while others swore it stalked baby dinosaurs across dry plains. And though it could weigh over 500 pounds, engineers studying its hollow bones proved it could still crouch, spring eight feet into the air, and fly like a living airplane. Even today, debates continue about whether it soared oceans or prowled inland plains, but one truth remains clear. Its reign above the dinosaurs ended with the same fiery disaster that wiped them out. And when the skies went silent, a new terror prepared to rise from the seas. 9. Predator X The ocean once held a monster so powerful that its bite could crush through bone with four times the force of a T-Rex. This giant was first whispered to the world as Predator X, and we almost didn't believe it was real. With jaws longer than a grown man and teeth like daggers, this marine reptile turned the Jurassic Seas into its hunting ground. The tale of Predator X began in the frozen lands of Svalbard, Norway in 2006. A team of scientists braved icy winds and uncovered bones so massive that they stuck out from the cliffs like giant puzzle pieces. Among the fossils were two skeletons, badly damaged by years of freezing and thawing, yet still impressive enough to spark headlines before the scientists could even finish their research. For years, the world knew the beast only by its nickname, until at last it was named Pleosaurus funke, in honor of the volunteers who helped discover it. Once the bones were studied, the picture became clear. This predator stretched 33 to 42 feet long, about as long as a bus and weighed nearly 12 tons. Its skull alone was six and a half feet, holding teeth that could snap through ichthyosaurs, sharks, and even other plesiosaurs. With four huge flippers, its body was built to fly through the water, chasing down anything unlucky enough to cross its path. And while the media made Predator X sound like pure fiction, the truth was even stranger. This reptile was real, it was hungry, and it ruled the seas. From ocean hunters with bites stronger than T-Rex to winged giants, casting shadows over dinosaurs, these monsters remind us the past was stranger than fiction. Which one blew your mind the most? Tell us in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible stories from Earth's forgotten ages.